Well, I had the need to buy an OBT, OBD2 scanner that would allow me to test whether the current code I'm getting on one of my vehicles is either the catalytic converter or one of the O2 sensors. So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing, unpackaging, whatever of this scan tool that will allow you to do live data. It's OTC. 3208 it was $77 at Summit uh, I found it online 50 60 bucks and other places um, but this was local so we're gonna pull it out of the package I've already snuck the manual out the manual is pretty simple it's got three different languages OTC 3208 is the scan tool got your safety precautions tells you what all the buttons do and what's on what the screen does uh, tells you about permanent versus pending codes on newer vehicles tells you how to connect it tells you how to erase the codes and check your uh, malfunction indicator lamp your check engine light how to read the codes all that good stuff uh, freeze frame data it does emissions tells you if all the tests have been done for the uh, drive cycle and you can but here's what I mainly needed it for was uh, live data and it has a few pages all about the PIDs the abbreviations or not really abbreviations the, but the what you see on the screen and it actually explains what each of them are you know, like uh, there's one cat temp one one it's catalytic converter temp bank one and then temp bank three. It'll help you figure out what's going on and then uh, limited warranty and then you change languages. Pretty simple manual. Didn't really expect anything too great for seventy seven dollars. Uh, they do advertise their thirty two oh nine which does more stuff but I didn't even check the price on that so let's get this thing out of here. without cutting myself hopefully and that's it instruction manual and your OBD2 cable that's all it comes with this thing's a lot tinier this is the one I had, I borrowed, but it doesn't do live monitoring. That's a Harbor Freight one. But it, you look at the size difference of them. But we'll check it out. There's not much we can do with it on the table. I gotta plug it up to the vehicle for it to get power. But yeah, that's it. Not much as far as uh, unpackaging. Let's uh, let's hook it up. One complaint: this is not backlit, which would be helpful. But you know, it's it's an inexpensive, inexpensive scanner. So you've got your IM monitors which is tells you if your emissions uh, drive cycles complete uh, if you clear the codes it will reset all that then you gotta do the drive cycle uh, you could look it up there is a drive uh, there is a procedure you can follow it says it can be done in under 15 minutes but I, I couldn't get it done um, so you can tell all the tests here have completed except for the EVAP monitor which I had a code for that I'm hoping it won't come back but that tells you if you know if you go and try to do an emissions test and all those aren't okay and your check engine lights off then you'll fail ask me how I know read codes tells you the codes There you go, just tells you your check engine lights on. 
view data is where we were. Freeze frame data is kind of neat. That'll show you everything that was happening. See trouble code at the top, P0420. Tells you exactly what the system was doing when it detected that code. So it, it just takes a snapshot. So that that's pretty convenient. Uh, especially if you're having something that's hard to track down and you gotta basically reset the codes and then wait for it to come back on again just to, to see what changes uh, sometimes that'll help you figure it out but it, it's a pain uh, VIN number this is a 98 uh, let's see verify see this one should not work yeah I think on it's like 2000 some 2000 something and newer vehicles do that but not this 98 then you've got the menu uh, English you can just do well languages well just English or metric we'll stick with English uh, you got your contrast tool information tells you your software ID of the scanner display test check for missing spots it just blinks back and forth to see if the any dead spots in the screen keypad test read erase back well back obviously works okay then memory test initiating RAM initiating flash and that's it for this little inexpensive code reader but that live data that's uh, that's valuable also if the vehicle supports it this will do ABS codes which is another thing that uh, a lot of the cheaper ones will not do all right well I thought I'd share that's that's the menu Alright, so if we go through this, let's start from the top. Saying that the mill status is on, so yes, I've got a check engine light. There it is. Service engine center. Uh, let's see. It's in closed loop, which is what we want. 2.7 load, 190 coolant temp. So it's up to temp. Uh, fuel trims, we're not too worried about this. It's idling right now. What we want to see is, okay. So you've got bank two and bank one. And the code I'm getting says bank one is, is not being efficient. So this right here, the one three, I believe that's the back post catalytic converter O2 sensor. And we want that to stay in between, well, we want it to stay right in the middle between, you know, zero and one volt. So, we don't really want it to, well, between five and seven hundred, I think, is the typical range. Uh, the front, the other two, the bank one and bank two, the first ones that are off the exhaust manifolds, they, they should fluctuate. And that's... If, if those fluctuate and the other one stays smooth, well, relatively smooth, it doesn't jump around a whole lot, then that means your catalytic converter is probably good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rev it up to between two and 2,500 RPMs, or 2,000 and 2,500 RPMs. And you can already see, even at idle, that that third one is, is jumping around below five and above seven. But let's rev it up and watch what happens. See, it jumps almost to 9 volts. When you 
let off the voltage goes up because it gets real rich so it looks to me like the O2 sensors are fine I think I'm gonna go with the uh, catalytic converter again which I've already replaced well that was like four years ago Looks like I'm going shopping.